Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. I just woke up a little bit ago. I did some reading. I just did my skincare. And right now, I'm going to take my vitamins, make some coffee. We're going to go outside, do some reading, and drink my coffee on my hammock, which I have been obsessed with lately, like just being outside on my hammock, listening to the birds, doing some reading, scrolling on my phone, whatever it is. I do get eaten alive by mosquitoes if I'm out there for too long. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this vlog. Honestly, be here all day, but let's go get ready for the day. Could I please get a Hidden Hills bagel? Oh, Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thanks. I'm having one of those bad hair days where the only way to fix it is just to wash my hair. And I just washed it like a day and a half ago. But anyways, an everything shower is definitely happening later. I just picked up some breakfast and a little matcha and this looks so good. If you don't like pickles or capers or smoked salmon, this isn't gonna look very good. But if you do, I hope this looks good to you. We got that bagel and this gorgeous looking matcha. That's pretty freaking good. Also, I switched my phone case this morning and how freaking cute is this it literally matches my outfit okay guys this portion of the vlog is kindly sponsored by burga i've worked with burga before i've loved their cases so much so i am beyond excited to be working with them once again burga is basically a european brand they make a lot of different accessories but they're mainly known for their phone cases they have over 200 unique and trendy designs to choose from recently i've seen them trending on tiktok i feel like people are catching on to how good and protective they are so like i said burga makes really great phone cases but they don't just stop at phone cases they make so much more more. They also make laptop cases, notebooks, planners, and something I really loved about that is that if you like one specific design, you can get all of your stuff to match. So your laptop case can match your phone case and that can match your planner, which I thought was the cutest thing ever. I got this one that's sort of like a hot pink. And then I got this one that's more of a subtle pink. I got this one that's a pink checkered one. And because I loved this design so much, I also got it in a journal. My laptop case, I got a cute little seashell design one and the one that i have on my phone right now they're actually offering an insane deal right now where you basically can get four cases and only pay for two of them the link below will take you to that offer and also for a limited amount of time you guys can get an extra discount on top of that by using my code carla ex15 for 15 percent off your entire order thank you so much to burga and let's get back to the vlog Comment down below right now if you like pickles. Anyways, before we go to our next stop, I'm gonna stop at a little free library really quickly. And then after that, we're gonna go to Barnes and Noble for a very, I hope they have it actually. Maybe I should call. I'm gonna go pick up Emily Henry's new book, Funny Story. I've also been reading just for the summer. I have so much to say about this book. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna finish this book in this vlog. I'm feeling so lucky right now because as you guys just saw, I went to a little free library and I went to a new one. And when I tell you, I literally ran to get this book because there's never really, like I don't think I've ever gotten a book from a little free library that's been on my TBR already. I got Get A Life Chloe Brown. It somehow feels wrong that I didn't have to pay for this book, but yeah, I got really lucky with a little free library today. Obviously, I got funny story. I really wish this was a paperback, but I also don't have the patience to wait to read the story until it comes out in paperback. So at least it'll match Happy Place. I actually can't believe Happy Place came out a year ago, right? Like it came out, it came out a year ago? I don't know. There's a Taylor Jenkins Reid quote 
back here another knockout from the champ this woman doesn't miss and then i got another new release book i feel like authors are working overtime because the new releases lately have been amazing the one author that i'm like patiently waiting for is taylor jenkins reed she is the one author that i would literally camp outside of barnes and noble for but anyways i got the rule book by Sarah Adams. She's the author of The Cheat Sheet, When in Rome, Practice Makes Perfect. She for me is like the epitome of a cute little rom-com. Just a book to put you in a good mood with good writing style. Now that I'm done at Barnes & Noble, I'm gonna go to the grocery store really quick. I'm gonna make shrimp fajita bowls with cilantro rice. Okay, so I've been editing this video that you're watching all day and I realized that it's a little too short for my liking I know you guys are always telling me to make my videos longer. So we're gonna keep it going I hope you guys are enjoying it so far though. I just ordered some ramen I'm gonna use my little bowl that I got from home goods. It's like a little ramen noodles bowl with a little spoon I have my little LaCroix here I am so excited right now this is literally one of my favorite comfort meals. I've been looking for something good to watch on Netflix for literally like 20 minutes now. The only thing that looks remotely interesting is Baby Reindeer. If you guys have seen that show, let me know down below if you liked it. Okay, so I'm editing the video that you're watching. It sounds like I've been editing this video for like <laughs> weeks. I quickly want to share my thoughts on just for the summer. I finished this two days ago, I think. To literally no one's surprise, this is a five-star read. It literally felt like the most real and raw and humanly painful love story. There's literally trigger warnings going into this book because it does talk about very delicate subjects. This story just felt like the most imperfect story in the most perfect way if that makes any sense it doesn't romanticize anything too much like it shows a lot of really real parts of life like childhood trauma and especially how childhood trauma bleeds into the way that you are as an adult and the way that you handle situations i think it has to be my favorite i'm not gonna lie i've loved part of your world you guys know i loved yours truly but this one might might be my favorite all you have to know is that it's a five-star read and you absolutely positively have to read this book.